As you can see, it, it's evolved from, originally I just wanted a low fade, basically in the back. And once once I messed up, I went too low, I went down to a number one, and it was all patchy. So what I ended up doing is I just evened it all out. All on the sides. So then that way, it's all even. And now I'm not raising the hair up anymore, but this line right here, was extremely hard. Yeah, so what I'm doing is, uh, I don't wanna go as low as the one again, so I've been working with two and three and just trying to feather it out, so watch. So this is a three right now. And yeah, way better. up and down to kind of bring it up because again the rest of the hair right now is all at a one length and you can see it's starting to get one is starting to get more even but when I first started it was extremely sharp so now I'm going to switch to the two and I can't stress it enough always check your numbers check your guards however you're doing it if you're using normal clippers these are beard trimmers but if you're using hair cl clippers make sure it's either in the open or closed position um, you know, you can get distracted doing this because you're not used to doing this by yourself. Take it from me. And once you find a grip or a mirror that works for you, roll with it. If you get distracted or you walk away and think you're going to come right back to it, you kind of lose your bearings a little bit. There's my favorite word again. There you go. Look at that. Not bad, it's starting to fade in. Which gets me excited because I will try to do a lower fade again, but I'm gonna use a different type of band, so that'll be the next haircut. Okay, I'll let it go out though. I always like a challenge. So, partially this is why I'm doing this myself. Um, doesn't always turn out the way you hope in life. But you know what? <laughs> this looks pretty badass, I have to say. At least I like it. I think it's pretty fast. It almost has like that little uh, mohawk feel. But the good thing is by fading it, it uh, it's just a smoother transition. Again, if there's any barbers watching this or people have way more experience than me, I might not even be calling this the right thing. It's, it's more like a high top and the line itself is faded. It's not a full fade, um, but yeah. Don't want to offend anybody, just doing this for fun. But I also don't want to give misinformation. So you can see here, I turn my head the right way. You can see here the way I move my hair, that it's, even though it looks darker, it's not like a length of a three. So it actually is blended. And then what I also did was I worked on lining this up here and there. So I'll try to give you a 
that's as straight as I can get my head and film this at the same time. So not bad. So what I highly recommend there, uh, if you ever want to cut your own hair, especially if you want to get creative with clippers, is go to your barber, you know, that you always go to, get your favorite haircut, get a good set of clippers, or if you're going to try like the beard clippers like me. The reason I say get your favorite haircut the first time is, then you'll have his lineup as your guide. If you just start, let's just say, for instance, this is a, this is all a one. So if I just go, hey, let me do a skin fade and I take all this off, then I have to try to form this all myself. Now you can kind of see his line from when I had a skin fade, but that's gonna be very hard for your first time. Again, you're doing this backwards. You know, I'm a righty, so I can kind of do it the left hand, but it just, it's easy to go, oop, and then you go too far. And then again, you're, you're pushing, you just have to keep pushing it out. So you gotta, so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. And then we'll let it grow out. And then what I'll do is I'll let it grow out and then I'll work on, see this line here? That's where I'm gonna work on the fade next time. So instead of raising the side, sides all up, although I actually do like the look, I've always liked having it tighter on the sides. Um, but I wanna have here, at least a U we'll say, U or an open V. I wanna have more hair all in that area again. So what I'll do is I'm gonna let this grow out for a couple weeks, uh, assess the damage, get back to it. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching another episode of Dad Life. Uh, if you haven't yet, please like the video. And also if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next haircut. Um, hopefully we'll be out of quarantine for the third haircut, uh, but stay tuned, it'll be fun. And again, we're getting back on the Corvette project for Placid Dip part three, I think this week. Uh, within the next week or two, that video will go live. Thanks again for watching. Dad Life, out.